Johnny. Series created by Roderick Hunt and Alex Britta. Mrs. May took the children onto the playing field. Why are we going outside, Mrs. May? asked Wilf. There was a tall pole standing in the playing field. It had ribbons hanging down from the top. What is it, Mrs. May? asked Chip. It's a maypole, said Mrs. May. I'm going to teach you the maypole dance. I want you all to stand in a circle, Mrs. May went on. Now take hold of a ribbon, then take four steps backwards. The ribbon spread out in a circle of blue, green, red and yellow colours. The dance is quite easy, but we'll walk it first, said Mrs May. She told them to walk in a circle, so the ribbons wound round the pole. Now we'll do it to music, she said. The pole looks great, said Nadin, and all we did was walk round it. In time... We will learn how to weave a pattern, smiled Mrs May. May Day is a special day, said Mrs May. Who can tell me why? It celebrates spring, said Wilf. And better weather, said Chip. It will be fun to celebrate May Day, said Mrs May. We are going to have a school fair. Every class is taking part. There was a lot to do to prepare for May morning. Some children were going to sing a song. The children in Wilma's class painted big pictures of birds and flowers to go around the playground wall. Mrs May's class worked hard at the maypole dance. They had to remember which way to skip with the ribbons round the maypole. Two children were chosen to be king and queen of the May. Her dress is nice, said Biff, but I'm glad I don't have to wear it. At last it was May morning, but it was teeming with rain. The pictures on the playground wall were soaked. The maypole was standing in a pool of water. We can't dance round that, said Chip. It's going to rain all day, said Nadam's mum. It's such a shame. We will have to celebrate May morning indoors, said Mrs May. But what about the maypole dance, asked Biff. Cheer up. We can still do it, said Mrs May. Leave it to me. We will do the maypole dance in the hall. I'll be the maypole, said Mrs May. She held up the top of the pole with the ribbons on it. The children took their places round Mrs May and the music began. Everyone clapped as the children began to dance. The ribbons began to weave into a pattern. The music did not stop, so the children went on dancing. The pattern went lower. The ribbons wound round the top of Mrs May's head. Everyone cheered at the end. So Mrs May saved the day, said Mum. That's true, said Nadam's Mum. Mum looked for Dad, but he was not in the hall. Did you see where Dad went? asked Mum. Dad had gone to get a big bunch of flowers for Mrs May. Three cheers for Mrs Maypole, said Dad. <laughs>